Welcome, it's Legally Inspired and it's Pauline Paulek. Today I will be discussing general tips uh, in relation to FE1 exam, equity and trust, um, as well as maxims of equity. General tips. You should refer back to the statement and quote. Never forget your client, quote. Refer back to your client. So if this is a problem question, then um, you should uh, apply the law, for example, and then you should refer back uh, to your client. And um, you shouldn't, for example, uh, apply law and then uh, apply even more law and then refer back to your client uh, in the uh, final conclusion. You should refer back to your client uh, every so often when uh, when answering the question. Uh, you should know your examiner, so I would highly recommend uh, to read examiner's reports. Uh, you should get yellow highlighter and um, at the end of every question or at the end of your exam, you should highlight statue and case law. Um, another point that I should highlight to you and that you should remember is ILAC method. So ILAC method is 50% of successful exam. So this is issue, law, application and conclusion. Uh, things you have to remember. Timing. This is very, very important. Uh, so, if essay or problem question, you should have around 35 minutes uh, uh, and including 5 minutes plan. Topics and format of exam. Frequently ask uh, topic, uh, topics which you must know. Format of the exam. 8 questions. You should answer 5 questions. This is a mixture of essays, problem questions, and note question. Critical. Clarity, legibility. Ensure your writing is as clear as possible, as clear as it can be. Better to write less and to be read uh, than write more and frustrate the whole answer. Um, and as I said before, at the end of each question, you should use uh, the highlighter to mark cases, statue, and perhaps uh, main points. Um, and in my case, I highlighted applying the law as well, because this is very important. And uh, mostly when people uh, failed uh, the question, it was that they didn't apply the law. So this is very important. Development of equity and trusts. Historical development of common law. Norman invasion in 1066 developed the common law system. In modern times, equity exerts an influence in every aspect, aspect of civil law. For example, tort, contract, and land law, and invokes notions of, firm, of fairness, justice, and good conscience. The common law had a number of disadvantages, and specifically, if an action did not fall within a recognized form of writ, then no remedy was available. Usually, remedy damages, but not always. The plaintiff may seek to prevent the defendant from carrying out an unlawful act. Governing the satisfaction with the limited remedies of the common law from the mid-12th century, 
Lord Chancellor began to accept petitions from individual litigants and this resulted in the development of the Court of Equity and Chancery. To sum up, problems with the common law. Restrictive, limited remedies, seen as being unfair, inflexible. Equity is the parallel system of justice. It developed alongside the common law. The aim of equity was to achieve greater fairness and flexibility. Maxims of equity. Equity regards as done that which ought to be done. When a specifically enforceable obligation exists, equity regards the parties as already in the position which they would be in after the performance of the obligation. Equity will not suffer a wrong to be without a remedy. It was the reason why equity developed. By adopting the maxim, equity will not suffer a wrong to be without a remedy. The courts of equity have considered themselves entitled to intervene in order to protect a right even where the right is not enforceable at common law. Equity acts in personam. Courts of equity exercise jurisdiction over the parties personally rather than against particular property owned by them. Exception tracing. He who seeks equity must do equity. A party seeking equitable relief must act fairly towards the other party. He who comes to equity must come with clean hands. Concerns the previous conduct of the party seeking equitable relief. Delay defeats equity. Equity aids the, the vigilant and not the indolent. Maxims on the exam. Typically examined as part of a note style question. Examined much less frequently in recent years. Um, so this is the end of my short lecture, but uh, I would like to tell you that in relation to maxims, um, I think it's uh, useful for you to know them because um, when you will be discussing another topics, uh, they, they will occur from time to time. So it's good, um, it's good to know them and it's good uh, to provide them in your answer. If you liked my lecture, please give me a thumbs up. Uh, if you have any questions, please comment below. Um, if you want to find out more, uh, please uh, sign up to my uh, Facebook uh, support group. Uh, it's called Legally Inspired as well. I'm on TikTok, Legally Inspired. Uh, if you would like to connect with me, I'm Pauline Polek uh, on LinkedIn. Um, thank you for watching me. Please subscribe, please connect and see you next time. Thank you very much. Bye.